All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, <clears throat> time for a new uh, video game collection video. Today is the PS3, and as you can see, uh, as usual, I always start with the console. I have the was this Model Three PS3? I can't remember. There's a couple models that came out. This is the one with the sliding door where you hit the little button there and it slides open. Um, it's a fine model. It's nice. Uh, it took out some backwards compatibility from the original PlayStation 3 uh, model, the one that was like six, seven hundred dollars when it first came out. But uh, <clears throat> and then I, I usually show the controller too, but I don't have it on me. I was looking for it, and I honestly have no idea where it's at. But it's just your typical. It's the red PlayStation 3 controller. So whatever, not a big deal. Uh, it doesn't work too well anyway. Let's start with some games. Here's a uh, here's an easy one. If you don't, if you have a PS3 and you don't have this game, uh, I'm not sure why you ha uh, have a PS3 because Demon Souls is amazing. It's really hard, and no, that's not torn. That's part of the back of the case. That little line there, and um, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, Demon Souls was it was the first one I played. I played it before Dark Souls One came out. I didn't own it though, because I didn't own a PS3 until heck, the PS4 was announced. And one of the games that I have to show um, is actually the reason I ended up buying a PS3 very late in its lifespan. And uh, I actually took money out of uh... oh wait, how did I? But I can't remember. But whatever, I bought the PS3. You know, really late in its uh, lifespan. So, uh, and Demon Souls was one of the first games I got for it because I had played it a few years, you know, back when Demon Souls first came out, which was I don't know, like oh nine. You can't see that at all, but it's oh nine. Um, and uh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention too: this one's going to be a much shorter video. <laughs> at least it should be. As a matter of fact, it's going to be so short that. Um, Everything that you saw in the title picture is going to be in the video. So technically you could have just looked at my title picture and seen the video. Kind of a weakness of the video, but whatever. Um, I like to input other things. Just I've seen people who are like, I have a Genesis collection. Here's here's God of War. Here's Yakuza. Oh, I have Blaze Blue. No, I don't want to do that. I, I like to talk about the games a little bit. Um, the only time I'd really do that is if it was like a shovelware game, like if I had a Just Dance game, which technically I actually do, <laughs> but we'll get there. Um, not on PS3, but but anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, this will be much shorter, and it's coming near the very end of the month. I've been so busy with streaming. Uh, let's throw another game out there while um, I mention this. Uh, so busy that my computer has over there has been on for six days straight. I'm hoping to turn it off today. I got a couple edited videos to do. The streams have been good. Whatever. Anyways, that's not why you're here. You're here for this. So, uh, we have Nino Kuni, uh, Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, this was a... I didn't get super far in this game, but it looked really nice. The story seemed um, really neat and different. I've heard a big weakness to this game is that in the late game, you have to do a ton of grinding and I don't know, like I said, I didn't get far enough to know that. But I think it seems like a very interesting fantasy world. So much that I was going to buy Nino Kuni 2 when it came out. But I didn't have the money. Uh, obviously, it's the greatest hits version with the red. These uh, actually red cases are really nice. Um, this one is actually greatest hits, but it didn't have the red case. So I don't know when they started that. But uh, they're really cool. I... I, I'm not one of those people who's like, I need the black label for... I don't care. The only time I'm like that is if it's like an old game and I had a very specific case when I was a kid, like Spyro 2. I had the one with the shiny instruction manual, so I want that. Like, But that's very specific, you know? Um, but yeah, Nino Kuni, not much to say there. Uh, let's go to one I do have a little bit to say about. Metal Gear Solid 4. Now, first of all, if you haven't played Metal Gear Solid 4, you think modern games are like movies, they're too movie-like. Well, this game literally has like 40-minute cutscenes. It's insane. The gameplay is phenomenal, though. This is a phenomenal game. It's really good. Uh, I, I don't remember if you can skip the cutscenes, but uh, for the PlayStation 3 even... Ooh, camera's blurring up a bit there. There we go. Um... 
it's very impressive for the time, especially since this came out near the beginning of the PlayStation 3. Story's really good. It's supposed to be Solid Snake's last game. We'll see about that. Um, and uh, Solid Snake is in, like, the one you find in, like, Smash Bros. and stuff. He's like an old man in this one, um, but he's still kicking ass. Another thing you might notice is my case is not a real case, and that's because when I bought it from GameStop... I got this is once again one of the first games I got on my PS3. Here's the uh, receipt even, but it's all pretty faded. Um, but anyway, you know how I like to keep my receipts. It's cool. Uh, this is not a uh, the actual case, or rather, if it is the real case, it didn't have the actual picture. So I many years ago when I bought this, like. So, keep in mind, my PS3 I bought in, like, 20... Uh, it, was, it, sh it should have been, like, 2013, 2014. One of those two years. Um, uh, I I didn't know... Yeah, I wanted, th I wanted this on my shelf, but I... Um, honestly, like... I, I guess I just... I printed the picture off, so I, I don't remember where I got the case. Obviously, GameStop put it in here... So that those always suck, right? These things suck. Um, but the game's fine. I played the shit out of the game because I didn't care that the case was there or not. You know, sometimes you gotta get let go of the whole physical aspect. Just play the game. It's so good. Um, I think I the main reason I printed it off. It, it looks decent. That white line sucks. Obviously, I didn't get the you know the sizing correct. Nowadays, I'm a lot better at Photoshop, so I could probably do it better. Um, so this is not a real, you know, it's a piece of paper I printed off. But uh, the main thing is that on my, self sh so on my shelf, sideways, damn, um, it looks fine. I honestly forgot this was a fake case until I pulled it out off the shelf today. And I was like, oh yeah, this I forgot I printed that. It looks the side, and that's really the main reason I want it. So that when it's on my shelf, I can see it like that. Anyways, that's enough on Metal Gear Solid. Um, let's go here. God of War. Uh, you probably saw me earlier when I threw it. Uh, this is actually the God of War Saga. So this has five games. One, two, three. Um, and then what are they? Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus. I've only played God of War 1 and 2. About halfway through 2. It's very good. Um, I played God of War 1 when I got this immediately. And God of War 1... I mean, once again, keep in mind, the PS4 was out. But yeah, the PS4 was out when I played this, and I went back and played God of War 1, and that is a phenomenal game. There's some weird, you know, dated things. But overall, I was so addicted. Like, I just wanted to find... Once you get to the maze area of the game, I'm thinking, like, okay, uh, I'm going to... I'll find a good, like, save point, right? Like, I'm thinking, like, I'm going to get to a good stopping point in this game. Then I'll save it and come back later. And I just realized, like, this maze is not ending. The, you know, in the game, the maze just keeps going and going and going. And I'm like, man, like, like there's save points in the maze, but I didn't want to stop there. I wanted my own, like, checkpoint. So I played it for, like, hours. I, I don't know how long exactly. And I, I'm, I think I had to go to work, and I'm like, fuck it. I'll, I'll finish it. You know, I'll save it, and I'll, I'll I give in. I'll come back later and finish it so i came back the very next day and um i'm like i'm gonna get through this maze and then well once you finally get through the maze in the game you realize that you're at the final boss and that you've just spent like 13 20 i don't know however many hours it was um and you beat it and i was like that was phenomenal like i had so much fun just like I really felt the goal of Kratos in this game. I've never... I haven't really had that very often with games where, like... This... The, you know, I feel like I want to get to the next, like, little story section. But this, there's it's such a simple story. And they put you in this big maze. And then you're just like, I want to get out of here. I want to get the fuck out of this maze. Like, it's like... Imagine going into the water dungeon in Ocarina of Time or something. And then you finally get out of there, like, after hours. Like, let's say that's a bunch of the game just like i just want to get out of this fucking dungeon and go back to the world and you finally go back to the world and then it's the final boss like it was just so fascinating how they 
pulled me in like that. Uh, God of War 2 um, I, is definitely better, I think. But after I'd got back halfway through that, I kind of got God of war out, if that makes sense. I was getting a little tired. I was like, okay, I, I'm not going to play through all five of these at once. Um, but yeah, and I haven't played three. I haven't played Ghost of Sparta, Chains of Olympus, which are like the side game or the prequel is it one's like a prequel maybe they're both prequels i don't remember but they were on like the psp um one of them was and uh how about oh since we did demon souls uh can't forget about this we got dark souls 2 this is the black armor edition uh let me slip it out of the case here because the case kind of there we go um so the Black Armor Edition just comes with this little slipcase, which is really nothing. Uh, and then this awesome little, you know, steel book. It's, it actually pops out. The only downside of that is that it it pops through this, which is why this kind of gets damaged, because this thing's constantly pushing it out. Oh, uh, the air turned on. Let me go uh, get that with a quick edit. Okay, sorry about that weird edit. My air turned on. I didn't want that to bother you guys so uh what do we got inside uh this is literally they might as well have not even printed this <laughs> um there's the receipt soundtrack and it is the official one it doesn't seem to be a sound selection you know how i feel about those got some extra armor in the game it was probably worthless and then the game and then the inside's got the guy um standing there the it actually came with a ps3 theme and it's awesome it's an awesome theme i don't have my playstation 3 plugged in so i can't like show you any, or anything but um yeah and uh, dark souls 2 so dark souls 1 was my shit like i played the <laughs> so many hours i think i had like 300 hours in in that on and that's just one character that was my main then i had a couple other characters but Dark Souls 2, I actually got this on the PS3 when my family could not afford internet for like an entire year and a half. So I actually didn't play this till like way later. I asked my friends, like, help me get into this. Sometimes it's hard to get into these games when you're playing by yourself. Um, and you already know how some people feel about Dark Souls 2. I like Dark Souls 2. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I think it's, it's still a fine game. Uh... Do I like it more than one? I don't know. It's in some aspects, but it's hard for me to say. I'd have to play through all three of them again uh, to decide which ones I like more than the other. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I actually got into this one. I bought it day one, but I didn't really get into it until a little later because I, I just felt a little alienated that I couldn't, like, chat with my friends about it and stuff. Um... Here we've got Disgaea 4. Now, I think they're remaking this on the Switch. Or just porting it or whatever. So this was my first Disgaea game. Did not get very far. Still haven't played a lot of Disgaea. Really want to. I have this one, and I have the first one on the Switch now. Sorry about that glare. Um, they look really fun. They look good. Uh, honestly, I don't have much to say about it, but I'm sure that Disgaea fans do. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to become one uh sometime soon uh man the na last few games i have a lot to say about so we got four left let's go um let's go blaze blue this is the reason i bought a ps3 because i found out that the newest blaze blue at the time chrono phantasma was going to be a ps3 exclusive man that sucked now i do think they eventually ported it to the uh ps4 as chrono phantasma extend and which i do have i have that digitally though uh, but, um, this was the reason why, and, uh, when I, f I was in college at the time, when I found out the newest Blaze Blue, I wanted to see the story for Ragna and what, you know, what was going to happen to all these people. I don't think this is the end, though. I think this is the second to last. Yeah, because the newest one, which I can't even remember the name, Central Fiction, um, looking over at my book, sh or my game shelf there, um, finishes the story so there's blaze blue um oh and then of course how could i forget i actually got the special edition of this so um special editions got yeah come on 
slipcase. It's got the girls on it. And then, of course, when you take... Or no, 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 wait. I'm, I'm thinking of the other one. I think with... Um, I have the special edition for Central Fiction on the PS4. And when you... It's similar to this. When you take the slipcase off, they have less clothes. Which is like a fucking course they do, Blaze Blue. Um, anyways. <laughs> so this came with... This Rachel Alucard figure. Now, I'm not going to take it out because the figure was honestly kind of jank, so I just leave it in here. Um, and it, it was... It's not broken. It's just not a very good figure. It doesn't, like, stand up well. It's really cute. <laughs> but... And I like Rachel, but um, it wasn't a great figure, unfortunately. There was a little soundtrack. Uh, you know, like a little CD. I don't have it on me. It's in my CD closet, so maybe I'll save that for the end of the year things that I missed. Uh, video if I remember um, it does have a visual book and uh, art of blaze blue like the other ones did this one's not if you remember the last one this one's not super in depth oh yeah etchy or, or what do they call it fan service there you go fan fan service alert there might be fan service in here this is a really good picture though but uh, you know how blaze blue is if you've seen my other video game collection videos you know I have like the the uh, blaze blue, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, special editions. So you know how sometimes these can get very fan servicey. So if that's not your thing, beware. Yeah, I'm not even gonna show the one on the left because it's the same. It's lambda, or it's not lambda. The Noel version. There's her face, but you can literally see her cheeks. So I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I never know how much to put on YouTube. Or what I can and can't put on YouTube. But anyway, uh, very good art though. Uh, a lot of It looks like a lot of really good digital art. I've been learning how to do digital art. And man, I gotta say, like, fan service or not, these are, these are very impressive. There's a dude. There's a naked dude. Uh, but anyways, yeah, Blaze Blue, if you've heard me speak about it before, it's my favorite fighting game. It's, it's incredible as a fighting game. Creators of Persona 4, uh, uh, Arena, creators of... Um, what's it called? Dragon Ball Fighters. So they make amazing fighting games. But anyways. Oh, and then lastly it came with this poster, which the inside is nothing. I'm not going to open the whole poster because these can be a bitch to unfold. But they have a picture of every character and then all their combos, which it's blurry on my camera. But trust me, that's that's all Jin Kisaragi's combos. So uh, very cool. Uh, man, I said this one wasn't going to be that long, but it's already getting to like 30 minutes or so. I'm not sure. Uh, three games left, though. Let's do this. Persona 4. I'm going to get a better look at that. Arena Ultimax. Now, the first one I bought on um, 360, same with Dark Souls 2, actually. I, actually, I had Dark Souls 1 on the uh, 360. But my friend would get his fighting games and Japanese games on the PS3, so I got them on PS3. I kind of wish I didn't now. Not that I don't like the PS3, it's just that once you start getting your games all on one console, uh, specifically when it comes to Xbox and PlayStation, um, you kind of just stick with that because it, now if I want to play like Persona 4 Arena, I have to hook up my 360, and then for Ultimax, I have to hook up my PS3. So that sucks. Same with Dark Souls, you know. Uh, now, I do have Dark Souls 2 and 3 on the PS4 now, so that's not quite... That's not as bad anymore. But Dark Souls 1, I have to hook up either my Xbox One or my Xbox 360. So, yeah. That's why I don't do that anymore. Like, even if my friends want to... I'm like, just please just get on Xbox, because they mostly play PC anyways. Um, I play PC games, but... I'm like, just get it on Xbox for me so that I don't have to fuck with that. The only time I'll get it on, like, PlayStation is if, one, it's exclusive, or two, there's, like, a storage issue. Like, I'm running out of storage on one or the other. Uh, but Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, great game. Uh, story's not as good as the first one. It's actually one of my least favorite Persona 4 stories, which is surprising because you'd think the fighting game would have a... But no, it's, it's all, it starts out okay, has all the characters from 3 and 4, so that's awesome. Uh, Catherine, uh, this is not an advertisement for Catherine. I think if you saw my Xbox 360 playthrough, I do have the special edition for Catherine, but remember, my special edition is on the 360. So this is the PS3 version of the game. Um, both just as good. Get it on either console. I get the not-censored case, because I think it's horse shit. 
that they sense that so so if you don't know and i probably mentioned this in my 360 video uh when i showed off Catherine, but i'll say it again uh, i am not a fan of censorship uh there are certain things but i, I think there's limits and there should be very 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 few limits to censorship this is just art and once again like a lot of you might be like oh this looks like fan service like the blaze blue thing no this really plays into like Catherine's Catherine is an adult game this case sets up it doesn't set anything up how do i put this it makes sense for this game you know um you think like how like game of thrones people are like it's got a lot of titties or whatever and it's like yeah but it all makes sense in the world of game of thrones and and whatever just like this this is a story about uh, a more down-to-earth story about real life situations like they compare it it's 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 very similar to what real life adults go through when like in in this case the story of vincent you know like is he cheating like how should he feel who should he date what's the right thing to do what does he actually want to do he goes through real life adult scenarios things that most more than likely not always but more than likely m only adults would understand um, so I get the non-censored copy, especially with, with a phenomenal game like Catherine. It's amazing. I love it. Um, not perfect, but, and it's hard. <laughs> if you've seen anything of this game online, it's hard. But Catherine, full body's coming out next month. Well, it's July right now, but it comes out September 3rd. So basically next month, uh, cause it's late July. And uh, I'm getting it. I played the demo on the PS4. I thought, like, how much could Catherine really... And I'm like, no, Atlas, man. Every time they do a remake, they add so much shit. Persona 3 Portable added so much shit. Persona 4 uh, uh, The Golden added so much shit. Persona 5 The Royal looks like it's adding so much shit. And Catherine Full Body looks like it's no different. So much shit. Uh, <laughs> SOS. Uh, Atlas is just so good at remakes. They're one of the best companies to buy a remake of one of their games from uh i'm looking forward to it <laughs> uh anyways um and then finally yakuza 4 my first yakuza game uh it's great this is one of my favorite ones i've played still um out of the ones i've played i would say i my favorites are zero so far then four then Kiwami 1. I have Kiwami 2, but haven't played it. I have F Yakuza 5 digitally, because it was only digital in America for a while. Haven't played it. And I haven't played 3, and I haven't played Judgment or Rio Ga, whatever. Judge Eyes, that game that just came out. So, And I haven't played Dead Souls. But this was my first Yakuza game. When I got a PS3, there were, I think, four games... I think it was four. Let's take a look. A few games I knew I had to have. One was Metal Gear Solid 4. I was like, I gotta have this game because I played it with my friends. I loved it. Um, Yakuza. Played it. Same friends. House. Loved it. Actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, Blaze Blue was one of the games. Literally, this was the reason. Played it at a friend's. Same friend. Loved it. So this friend, he was the only one I knew who had a PS3 for a while, which is why. Uh, and then Demon Souls. Yep, that was it. So these were the four games I was like, I have to have these when I get my PS3. Everything else I got later. You know, Catherine I got l later because I had already played and beat it on the 360. This I knew I was just going to get. I just didn't know what console I was going to get it on. So... And then all this stuff. He actually introduced me to this too, but I just never got around to it. So, anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks uh, for watching my PS3 video. I know it's been a li it's a little late, but I think I'm gonna get this up before the end of July, which is nice because last month I was late. Um, I've just been so busy. Like I said, like um, I'll make this quick, but like I said, like the last like week has just been so much streaming, and it's been and it's been good streaming too. We've gotten like some viewers. Uh, comp you know, for me, my average is getting closer to five, which for me is great. I know you're like that's nothing, but but for me that's really good. My average has been three for months, and sometimes less than three. So, um, hoping to keep it that way. You know, we did two Fire Emblem streams. We did Odin Sphere last week. We did Super Mario RPG. We are, we did Jet Force Gemini last night. We have two days off, and then we're going back to Odin Sphere Mario RPG. So, yeah. Anyways, um, that's it. Uh, if you're not interested in my plugs, I get it. You can head out now. Uh, I'm going to do my plugs. We've got 
Um, my Twitter at Feral Brock. We've got twitch.tv slash Brock O'Clock. Um, and then you can subscribe here on YouTube uh, to uh, support me if you uh, like my videos or like my Let's Plays. Uh, I post the streams on YouTube anyway, so if you don't want to watch on Twitch, I do post them there later. I have a lot to catch up on there. It's just really hard getting those on YouTube. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching my uh, PS3 one. I know this one was a little underwhelming. Um, I thought about adding PS2, but um, I have a reason for that, and I'll explain that in the PS2 video. Um, next time, I'm thinking it's going to be Wii U, because I did 360, and now PS3, and then Wii U. So it'll be Wii U, and then probably either GameCube, PS2. I'm getting close to the handhelds. I'm really excited for the Game Boy Advance one. That'll be fun. But anyway, bye, and uh, thanks for watching.